Hello everyone and welcome to another showcase session. My name is Hal and today we're going to be editing this photo that you can download free. The link is in the description below. As usual, we're going to be using the techniques that we've learned in the dark table from A to Z series. And today we're going to be concentrating on the filming RGB module. So let's crack on. First, I'm going to check the demosaic you remember correctly it should be set to a maze and then let's start by cropping it I like that a little bit off-center and looking towards the outside of the frame next white balance I'll make sure that the white balance module is set to camera reference and then go to the color calibration module what shall we pick today let's see if that looks okay or what does that do? Maybe a bit too yellow. Too blue. Okay, that will do. Alright, next I'm going to go to exposure and fix the midpoint now to the main meal filmic going to lower the black point now let's put the coordinates so you can see here is the black point in the scene that's transformed into zero luminance or complete black on the display just make sure that her hair is not too black Next, let's have a look at the look tab. I'm not going to change the contrast, but I'm going to try to push the latitude as far as I can. If you'd like more details about what these settings are about and how the Filmic RGB module works in general, you can refer to the three filmic RGB videos in the dark table from A to Z series. Do we want to play around with the shadows highlights balance? Don't think so. I'm going to lower the saturation a bit. Okay, let's see what that did. That's the original. Again. Okay. Let's take a bit of color off those greens. I'll do that in the color zones. And you can tell where that is like this I'm going to oh, that's the lightness well, that's good too but I wanted the saturation as well let's make sure not a lot of red 
is affected. So I want a lot of blue. And let's see what that gives. I think I'd like to add a bit more red to her lips. Let's see if that works. Less feathering. Let's see what have we selected now. Try to limit it to her lips. Okay, let's see. And then just a bit more. Well, again, not the lightness, but the saturation. It does. Okay, next let's try using the contrast equalizer to maybe take a little bit less details, find the fine details, maybe give it a little bit more of a surreal look. Let's see. Compensate, put a bit more coarse details. Let's see what did that do. Is it too much? Can play around with the mix and see. Yeah, that's probably good. I don't think that we've looked at the vignetting module yet. Maybe put that next on the agenda but because it fits so much here I'm just going to use it consider it a preview just going to center it around her and see what that does okay there you go, I created a duplicate. We do display both of them together. You press X on your keyboard. And there we go. That's the original and that's the edited version. I hope that you've enjoyed this quick edit and it highlighted uh, how to use the Filmic module on your photos. If you have any corrections, requests, or questions please leave them in the comments below and I'll see you next time bye bye